Dawn arrived four days later, climbing out of a taxi with two battered suitcases, which the taxi driver cheerfully helped wheel to the front door. Jamie was there to meet her and let her into the hall. That's everything? he asked, eyeing the luggage. Dawn smiled. My worldly possessions, she said, are the ones I currently use. I've got stuff at my parents' house. They live out at West Linton. She paused. You know how you never really move out of home? No, you don't, do you? And parents keep your bedroom as it was when you left. They make a shrine of it. Dawn said that this was exactly what her mother had done. She gestured towards the suitcases. This is mostly clothes. I've left books in the flat, the one I was sharing. They had empty bookshelves and I put mine in. They don't mind keeping them for me. It's good to travel light, said Jamie. Except that these cases seem to weigh a ton, said Dawn. She looked at the staircase that led off the hall. I gather I'm up at the top. Jamie laughed. A garret. I hope you don't mind a garret. You're being so kind, said Dawn. You and your... Isabel. And she hasn't even met me, Dawn went on. You'll like her, said Jamie. He glanced towards the closed door to Isabel's study. She's on the phone right now. She edits a journal. That's her office through there. He moved to pick up the suitcases.